This is for my babies. In today's tutorial, I'll be showing you guys from start to finish how I made this beautiful Yupa wig. And as for styling, girl, you'll be blown away when you see how I achieved this heatless, bouncy, beautiful curl. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lovers. If you are a new subscriber, welcome to the family. And if you are a returning subscriber, like welcome back, welcome back, like welcome back to my channel. So to make this Yupa wig, I'm going to be using two bundles of this kinky straight hair that I received from Ali Pearl Hair. They sent me four bundles of their 20 inches kinky straight hair as well as a 20 as, as well as a 20 inch frontal. So now I'm thinking of one of the bundles, and as you can see, this bundle is really full. And now I'm just showing you guys my braid pattern. For my braid pattern, I have like hair left out where you know I'm going to part my hair, and I also have hair left out at the front, and then the rest of my hair I kind of like have cornrows going to the back. And now I'm just putting on my wig cap, and I'm going to go ahead and use a white eyeliner to you know kind of like align the areas I'm going to cut out after in the you part we now that i'm done with that i'm just gonna go ahead and secure my wig cap to my mannequin head using these two pins that were sent to me from wig tools on instagram like if you're in nigeria and you're looking for where to get like hair accessories you can get them from wig tools on instagram I'm just gonna go ahead and secure my bundles with this glue gun that i got on aliexpress it was literally about three dollars about a thousand naira if you're in nigeria so now that my wig cap is ready and firmly secured to my mannequin head i'm going to go ahead and attach the bundles you know from side to side and i'm doing the fold over method which means that i'm not cutting off my tracks i just kind of like folded them over like i said i'm going to glue them down from side to side until i get to the front So now we've gotten to the front and if you're doing like a center part you part wig you want to continue gluing your hair from side to side until you get to the middle but because i'm actually doing a you part wig on the side i'm going to go ahead and start gluing my hair straight to the back and i'm also going to be cutting my tracks as well i'm not going to fold them over So to get that neat seamless look around your part area once you get to this point where the space you have on the left is equal to the space you have on the right you want to start gluing your hair down in a u part form and don't forget to cut it as well because if you fold it over you're going to have like i don't know like a long pore boil <laughs> on, on your head and guys in 2020 we don't want that okay So now I'm done gluing down my wig and I'm just going to go ahead and cut off the excess lace because that's what we don't want. And as you can see, because of the glue and the liner, we have like white residue everywhere. And to kind of like conceal that, I'm going to go ahead and use a waterproof eyeliner and apply it generously where I have my white marks and that's it. <laughs> So now I'm just showing you guys what my wig looks like on the inside and instead of sewing this U-part wig down to like the perimeter of my hair, I'm actually going to go ahead and sew on these clips that I got on AliExpress and I'm going to sew one on each side and one at the center and because this is an adjustable wig cap, there'll be no need to sew any clips at the back. You guys have seen me use these clips in so many tutorials. Get yourself a bunch of these clips and you'll be amazed at how easy it is to do your hair. I mean it, I'm not even kidding you. This is for my babies.
up. So now our Yupa wig is ready and I'm just going to go ahead and, you know, put it on my hair. <laughs> and I was really excited to see how it was going to turn out. You guys have seen me do that several times on my channel. And do you guys see how it sits perfectly on my head? Like the measurement, everything. That's what you get when you outline your wig cap before you go ahead to glue down your tracks. So now I'm just going to go ahead and blend my hair with the weave. And because I don't want to kind of like burn my ears, I'm going to be using this silicone ear. I think, what are they called? Silicone? Sil sil silicone? <laughs> silicone ear puffs that I got on AliExpress. Guys, this was like a steal. I'm also going to be using this hair straightener folding comb that I bought on AliExpress as well. And this one was a dollar and thirty. So now I'm just going to go ahead and spray it in my hair. And off camera, I applied my heat protectant. Feel free to use any heat protectant that you want. There are so many things you can get on AliExpress that these companies you know, would buy and go and kind of like rebrand them and sell them for like a hundred dollars, fifty dollars and yo, just go on AliExpress and you'll be amazed at how cheap and affordable these things are. So to actually marry the Yupa wig together with my hair, I'm going to go ahead and apply some free spray together and that's it. So now I'm just doing like finishing touches here and there and this hair is beautiful. Things that I love about you like your pretty smile. Having this hair on and off for about two to three weeks i was like why not go ahead and call this hair with flex zero because i wanted to see how this hair was going to turn out curled since it has like a kinky straight pattern like it's not totally straight so i went ahead and gathered all the flex zeros that i could find in my house and put my wig back on my mannequin head because i was like girl it's time for a makeover <laughs> I'm going to take off a section of hair and with that section I'm going to apply three pumps of my styling mousse I'm going to walk my way through like walk the product into that section of hair and then I'm going to place my flex zeros at the very end of the hair and start rolling upwards you know since this hair is a kinky straight hair it has a curl pattern okay so I'm going to kind of like stretch the hair to make sure that the hair turns out like really straight you want to make sure that you apply some pressure when rolling your hair, your, blah, when rolling your hair <laughs> and you'll be good to go. If you made it this far and you're still not subscribed to my channel, go, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and be part of the Love Speaks family. So now that I'm done, I allow this hair sit on my mannequin head for about three days. As a matter of fact, I actually placed my mannequin head on top of my car and let it sit under the sun for like three days until it was completely dry. So now it was time for me to actually go ahead and unravel the hair and I didn't know I was in for a shocker. Like this hair was super defined. I don't know if it's the product or if it's the hair, but all I know is that with this hair and with this product, you're going to get bomb curls, like super defined curls. So now I'm just going to go ahead and unravel the curls. And this hair was so bouncy and I was totally blown away. And the good thing is that this curl actually stayed like this for about a week before it started losing like its definition and all of that. So yeah, I was really, really impressed. If you try out this hairstyle and you like it, please make sure you kind of like leave a comment so that us can see and know that this hair is actually worth every single Penny. This is for my babies. I'm going to go ahead and stretch my hair again using a heat protectant. I was actually nervous, like, how am I going to blend my natural hair with this wig since the wig has been curled? Like, the curl pattern is totally different. But then I remember that I have this brush that I used before that I got on AliExpress, and I was like, why not give it a try? Guys, I used the same brush and it blended my hair perfectly with my Yupa wig and that was amazing. That was amazing. <laughs> so just like before, I went ahead and, you know, applied some got to be glued free spray to my hair and that was all. I got so many compliments with this hair. Like people wanted to touch my hair. Like, oh my God, what hair do you have on? What kind of hair is that? What color pattern is that? And I was blushing, you know? And I'm like, mm, my hair is from Ali Pearl hair. You know, I use like two kinky straight bundles. I'm in the Yupa wig. I'm a YouTuber and I have a YouTube channel. So make sure you go check it out, you know? You know? <laughs> and I was just feeling myself and guys, 
here I am showing you guys everything that I did, all my tricks to achieve this beautiful hairstyle. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching today's tutorial. If you're not subscribed to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and don't forget to turn on your notifications and I'll see you guys in my next tutorial.